Good afternoon from the Rostellan Observatory. Uh, I bought a new mic and uh, I think I've spent more on microphones than on uh, telescopes so far. Just kidding. Uh, to see if we can fix the problem with the audio. This is a retake on uh, 10, 20 and 30 second exposures. We had done that with the uh, M5 initially, a, glob a globular cluster. Uh, tonight I'm approaching it with M45 and then M42. Uh, this is uh, Pleiades, also known as Subaru, also known as the Seven Sisters, also known as Messier 45. And uh, it has some nebulosity, but we did not wait long enough to see the nebulosity. Uh, the plan was to spend uh, 10 minutes per target. 10 uh, collected data minutes per target. And uh, these are the 10 second, uh, 20 second, and 30 second. Not much of a difference. 20 second, maybe just a touch darker in the background. Uh, 30 second is just a bit lighter. Uh, let's zoom into the center of the image. There is more nebulos nebulosity showing in the 20 second than in the either 10 or 30 seconds. And then if we zoom a bit further, the stars are obviously roundest with the 10 seconds. They are reasonably round with the 20 seconds and they're just a little bit elongated with the 30 seconds. So. Uh, in this particular test, I would not say that there is a big difference. Uh, 10 is a touch better, but my vote goes for 20 seconds in this case. Looking at the histograms, uh, 30 seconds obviously uh, went a lot higher, uh, somewhere between 2600 and 3200. This one is 1200 to 1800. This one is 800 or 900. The 10 second the histogram is a lot narrower, it widens, and it widens even further with the 30 seconds. So all in all, it is a reasonably similar performance among the three. Next we moved on to M42, the Great Orion Nebula. And here my primary interest was in looking at the trapezium, the four stars at the heart of the nebula. Unfortunately, clouds moved in before I could uh, do the 30 second exposures. So we only have 10 seconds and uh, 20 seconds to compare. At this level, they look uh, very, very similar. As we zoom in, the trapezium is starting to show uh, slightly more uh, condensed in the 10 second than the 20 second. This 20 second is trying to become, to look like a blur. And if we zoom even further, uh, that's where uh, we lose the four stars under 20 seconds. But uh, we can still see a little bit at 10 seconds. Uh, really nothing uh, significant, not a significant difference among or between the two in this case. So looking at the histograms, as expected, 10 seconds is going to give us the tighter histogram, but uh, 20 seconds will give us slightly more uh, light and a slightly wider histogram. So in summary, M45 and M42 did not give uh, an edge to uh, any of the three exposures. Uh, if I were to give a slight edge with the trapezium, I would give it to the 10 seconds. But uh, so far we did the globular cluster M5 last week and 20 seconds was, in my opinion, the winner. Uh, in tonight's uh, M42 and M45, my vote goes to the 10 second. Uh, 30 seconds did not have a chance to compete on the nebula, but we will come back and visit it at a later date. 
I hope the audio has improved. I welcome comments. So long. We'll see you again when the clouds break.